And this is the Ruitos phone tripod mount adapter, smartphone controller, and everything all in one. Uh, here's the box that actually comes in. It's a nice small box, as you can see. And it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you come with a little remote, Bluetooth remote. That's almost standard in tripods nowadays. That's a, you get a little strap for the remote. I'll work, we'll talk about that in a moment. But then you actually get the actual uh, mount here. This is a camera mount that will hold an iPhone. And there's a, a couple features about this that I really enjoy. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. I'm going to put the iPhone in. This happens to be an iPhone 8. Uh, but it will fit an iPhone uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, whatever the great, latest and greatest is. It's, it actually extends quite a bit. We'll talk about that in a second. So there we go. There's our iPhone. It's in there. You can you could then turn it on. You can go ahead and use the camera through the back. That's fine. So it's a tripod mount, which means it actually fits. It's meant to fit onto a tripod of some sort. Now, what I'm going to do here is I have a tripod head right here. This is actually clicks onto a tripod. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this in. The nice thing about this is it's a quarter inch screw. It's a very standard screw for tripods. So I can go ahead and just kind of press that up against there. I can turn it once or twice to get it going. And then I'll go ahead and turn my little key in the back here. So this is just a standard tripod mount that's just from a tripod. So there we go. Now let's pretend my, my mount is on a tripod. So now what I can do is I can control my phone. I can do portrait mode like that. I can do landscape mode the other way. I can do landscape mode the other way. Once I, I can do crooked, I can do whatever I want from a, from a filming standpoint. Once I have it in place, I can just tighten it here in the back. And once it's tight, it's tight. It tightens the, the rotation of the mount. Now I'm nice and tight, and there we are. And I can go ahead and use my phone however I want to. I still have access to the buttons. I still have access to the lens. It's not going to slide. This tightens that. Things I really like about this, it's a standard screw size for a standard tripod mount. I've had a couple things where they weren't standard and drove me bananas because I had to get converters. Two, this tension, the, the way you put your phone in, that is a screw control. So you can control how tight and how loose it sits in there. I really like that as opposed to one of these kind of junkier spring mounts where you kind of just pry your phone in there. These tend to scratch, they can bend cases, they can actually break things because the screen, the spring is so tight, it can actually break stuff. So with this, you can control the tension. I usually just loosen it up a little bit. I slide it in, loosen it up a little more. I slide it in and then I tighten it down. These teeth, by the way, there is rubber, soft rubber on both sides, which will go ahead and prevent it from scratching or breaking or smashing any of your, if you have an iPhone case, that's fine, or a cell phone case of any sort, it won't smash it. Uh, so the tension, the screw tension is actually really nice. The other nice thing is that I can keep it on the tripod, I can turn the screw, and I can get 360 degrees, depending upon how my phone's in there. Uh, but that's actually a really nice little feature as well. Uh, a third feature, what you can do is you can, if you want to, if this is too big for you for some reason, you can actually unscrew this completely, take it off, and that's also a screw for a uh, tripod mount, again, quarter inch. You could just put this alone onto a tripod mount as well, or mount it onto anything else you wanted to. Again, standard screw size, that's nice and convenient. So how big does this thing get? Well, guess what? It actually comes right out if you want to unscrew it all the way, but I will go ahead and put it back in, and I will screw it in there. Uh, I don't know, about eight turns there, just so it's at least tight. And I have, looks like I have, about three and three quarters inches. I could probably stretch it out to four if I really wanted to. So as long as your phone is less than three and three quarters inches in portrait mode, and most phones are, I mean, this is not gonna hold an iPad, but it will definitely hold any sort of a phone, then you're good to go. You just tighten it in, and then you can go ahead and you can rotate it however you need. Let's talk real briefly about the remote here. The remote is a standard little camera remote. It's got two buttons. They both seem to do about the same thing on my phone. There is an on-off button. It comes with a battery in it. The battery comes out in the back. You can just kind of pop it open. It's a CR2032. So I'll put that back in there. You want to, the way this works is just, this is a remote. Here's a strap. It's actually a nice little strap. You can change the size of the strap. Uh, the way you mount the strap, a lot of people are confused by this. I'll show you how to mount the strap. 
So you take your remote, I'll put it down on the, on the left here. I'll take my strap. I will run the loose stringy part through the hole of the remote. There we go. So I have the loose, the, the string loop on the, over the remote. I then take the back part of the ribbon and I run it through this hole and that's it. I'm gonna go all the way through, all the way through, all the way through. I'm gonna have to fiddle with it a little bit. And once that's on there, dump. now it'll just hang there. Now it's there, fairly tight. Last but not least is the remote. Uh, you can turn Bluetooth on your phone and you can go ahead and turn the, the Bluetooth on right here. And now it's blinking. It'll come up on your phone is like AB Shutter or AB Shutter 3 in my case. I should be able to click on that. I say pair. And there we go. The shutter is now paired to the camera. So what does that mean? That means when you go to your camera, and if you have your camera pointing at the table, I can click this and it takes a picture. Same thing with video. I can have video and I can turn it on and it will restart recording. If I stop it again, it'll stop recording. Uh, the Bluetooth pairing actually worked pretty well for me. Once I got it, once I kind of figured out how to do it, it worked pretty well. Uh, I don't think I got any real instructions with it, but again, these things are so ubiquitous now, they kind of assume that you know how they work with your phone. Again, this is the Ruitos uh, iPhone tripod holder. This is actually my go-to tripod adapter right now. I keep it with my tripod base, and I actually carry it everywhere I go. I use it on a couple different uh, shoots already, and I'll probably go ahead and continue to use it however I need it. But it works pretty well.